Hey guys, it's Monica. I am going to share with you my four month update on the Nutrioc system I've been using for my hair. I got a lot of questions on my hair because I talk about the fact that my hair is thinning and the things that I'm trying and you know hoping to make a difference by using certain products or using or trying certain procedures. So before I go into my update on this, I just want to make sure because I've mentioned derma rolling my hair, I just want to briefly talk about that because I get a lot of questions on derma rolling my hair. This is new to me, so you know if you're going to derma roll your hair or even derma roll or use any of the procedures I'm talking about or do anything that I'm talking about, you need to do your own research. But with the derma rolling of my hair, I what I do is I my target is I try to do it two nights a week. I don't always do it two nights a week, but that's my goal. So I do it after I freshly wash my hair and I towel dry my hair. So my hair is almost completely dry. I take my sanitized derma roller. It's been sitting in rubbing alcohol. I probably do overkill for at least probably 20 minutes. And I take it and I then will take my comb and I will part my hair. And I usually start here. I part my hair and I take my derma roller and I go one way. I lift the derma roller up. I go back down. You, I don't crisscross, I don't go back and forth. That obviously is gonna break your hair, so I don't do any of that. So I go one way, and then I lift and I go one way, and I try to do four passes that way. And then I will take my, my hair and it's part of the other way, I'll do the same thing, and I'll go back, and I lift, and I go back, and I lift, so that I do four or five passes in that same direction. I will do my head, the whole front of my head, maybe in six different sections, and I will go sometimes right with the flow of the hair, then I will part it, and I will go one way and the other way, and I go all the way through when I'm done doing the top part, the front part, I typically do a little bit of the back. Uh, not a whole lot because I can't get back there, but I do uh, like right in this area. When I'm all done derma rolling for maybe five or six passes each way, and it's only going to maybe take me 10 minutes tops to do all this, I will take the Nutriox spray. And this I think is the secret, the holy grail. This is the 3C serum. And I take this and I spray in every section I derma rolled, maybe 10 pumps in total. Then I take my fingers after I've sanitized them again, you know, sometimes I use an alcohol wipe, sometimes I dip it in my alcohol solution and sanitize them again, and then I massage the serum into my scalp. I can more often than not feel a little bit of a tingling sensation, nothing bad, nothing burning, nothing you know that concerns me, and then it dissipates pretty quick. That's how I derma roll my hair, once or twice a week, and this is all I put on after I derma roll my hair. That said, when I went to the hairdressers, when I reported on my uh, progress last month, I, um, I talked to my hairdresser about what I'm doing. So when I went this month again, she did a little bit of a trim and touched up my roots. She on, on her own mentioned it. She asked me, she said to me, number one, and first of all, I have to tell you, this is a woman I've been going to probably for about 20, 20 years. The shop is right down the street from me. I, she's a former realtor, so I knew her from the industry. And I've just been going to her forever. So she said to me, your hair feels really, really good. She said, your hair feels super thick. It ha you've got a lot of body and it feels really, really healthy. Are you still using that stuff? And I said, yes, I am. I said, I can see a little bit of sprouts, but nothing major. And, but I do see, and I do feel a big difference in the, the texture of my hair and the thickness of my hair. I don't think I'm getting as much fallout in the sh in the shower as I ever got before. So, even if I'm not getting a whole bunch of new regrowth, I think. Oops, sorry. I think the you know the lack of fallout in the shower is is going to make a huge difference and is making a huge difference. So I was like super excited by her reaction, and you know, and I said, yeah, this is I buy this at Sally's. I love the smell of the shampoo. I love how the shampoo feels, and I love how the conditioner feels. I actually. I, the scent is, it's a soothing scent to me and I really, really like it. So normally when I wash my hair, and I don't wash my hair every night, but normally when I wash my hair, I wash it with the shampoo, use the conditioner, towel dry, and use the serum. That's my normal routine. 
and I really like it. So that said, while we're talking on shampoos, I want to mention a product that um, was actually sent to me. So first of all, you know, I guess you could call this a PR product. Um, many large YouTubers get PR products left and right, and they get these amazing, amazing packages. A small YouTuber doesn't get as much, obviously, but uh, I have had a few little PR packages, and this one was sent to me. This is a shampoo and a conditioner, all natural, was sent to me, and I didn't know it was coming until um, I had a second email from the, from the manufacturer or from the company. It's from Nature Queen. And they had asked me, you know, to be on the lookout that I was getting it. And I had missed the first email because I think it went in my spam filter. But anyway, so I said, okay, I'll take a look at it. And about that same time, one of my, and, and I'm going to say this with love, but one of my fellow YouTubers that I really adore, she's just an absolute sweetheart. She's, and I call her my, my wacky, and she, it's her personality plus. She's, a, she's just the most kind hardest, and you, you can, her personality is just like totally wacky, and I love her. Anyways, I watched one of her videos, and she actually reviewed this shampoo and this conditioner, and I will tell you guys, before she even opened her mouth in her video, I thought her hair, and she has like amazing long hair, I thought her hair looked super, super awesome and super shiny. And then she was talking about this product, the Nature Queen Shampoo and Conditioner. Now, if you watch my channel, you know the S and the C. I put this on there with marker because I wouldn't be able to tell what was the shampoo and what was the conditioner in the shower. I do the same thing with my serums. I mock them just so that I can readily recognize what I'm using. But, um, but anyway, so she was talking about how much she absolutely loved this product. So I got the product and I've only used it once because I'm in love with this. But to me, this is this is the secret sauce. This is the holy grail. But um, so, anyways, I used the shampoo once. Now I have completely different hair. This is a very thick formulation. It has a very nice smell. It felt really good on my hair. But my hair is completely different than Pauline's. My hair is very thin, where hers is very thick. I found it to be a little on the heavier side. It rinsed off beautifully, and it left my hair feeling really good. And when I was done, I put my serum on. But, so my plan is to maybe, I'm gonna finish this, and then I'll give you a better, you know, thoughts on it. But I'm gonna finish this, but I'm probably only gonna use it once a week because of the fact that I am using the Nutriox system. So, um, yeah, so I, I'm gonna link Pauline's channel, check her out, she's just a really, she's an awesome lady, and, you'll, and I, you could see her excitement about the product, so I'm glad I tried it. The other thing, I went on the Octoly website, and many of you know that I've been exploring with mascaras, and I just did the collab video with Carol from The O'Carroll Show, I'll link that, where she talked about mascaras, and I talked about my, my eyelashes. Anyways, I went on the Octoly website, and I've been reviewing different products, different things that I'm of interest, that I find are interesting. And so I requested to review this mascara, Extra Sculpt Volume Mascara from Kiko Milani USA. And I will link all the information. This was sent to me free in exchange for a review. And it is a volumizing Extra Sculpt Mascara. I'll tell you, if you want volume, this was actually very nice for volume. The only, the only thing I had a hard time with on this mascara was how thick this wand is. I found it very, very thick, but on the same hand, when you apply this and you go back and forth slightly, it does give you a ton of volume, and I really like that. So you're doing that volume build up very close to your lash line, and then you let it just come out. This I could not use on my bottom lashes. I had to use my other mascara on my bottom lash, mainly because the applicator wasn't conducive to the bottom lash for me, for the way I do it. So this was sent to me free. I've been using it for about a week and a half. I like it a lot. It gives me um, a full, really nice eyelash. It doesn't flake off. It has good staying power, and to me, 
I put my mascara on in the morning. I put it on and I forget about it. I don't want to have to touch up my mascara. I don't want to have to touch up any eyeliner. Nothing. Mascara stays home after I apply it. This lasted all day and it looked good at the end of the day. And then when I removed it at the end of the day, it came off really, really easy. Again, you need a I need a second mascara for the lower lash, but I really liked it. So I thought that was pretty cool. So thank you, Hika Milani, for sending me that. It, um, it's a nice mascara. Check it out, guys, if you're in, you're in the market for a new mascara. Speaking of mascaras, my superhero, my IT superhero, still, I love the wand. I love, 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 love the, the wand. Still my favorite. Um, definitely still my favorite. Close second is my Essence Drugstore. This Essence, this is the one in the purple which is my favorite. I've used the green, I've used the pink. This is Lash Princess in the purple. I love the applicator. It's just got a slight little twist. It's great for your bottom lashes. Staying power is awesome, so I'm really, really, really liking that. The other thing is my lips. Now I have a video which I recorded on New Year's Eve, I think, and it's not gonna come up until probably after this. It's where I talk about some lipsticks. I put some of these on and I actually put it on my Instagram page and people were saying, oh, because I was saying I'm not used to dark lipstick on me, you know, I'm not used to that look. And people were saying, oh, Monica, you, you got to wear it. So I have dark lipstick on today and I feel like, I, I don't know, I just feel different wearing dark, dark lipstick. But here it is for you guys that wanted me to wear it in a video. I have it on in a video. And the other thing I want to tell you. I bought myself. You ready for this? Woo! <laughs> I am going to, I just, I don't know. You know, maybe when some people buy foundation and blush after blush after blush, I mean, I think I own like maybe three blushes. Um, and I use the same one over and over again. But some people buy all the makeup over and over again. I think for me, Right now, I'm on a fake hair kick. I have these fake bunny things that I love. I just love putting my fake bunny things in. And then I ended up buying a fake ponytail. I haven't even put this in my hair yet, but in one of my future videos, you just might see me like this. So hey guys, thanks so much for watching the video and please thumbs up, please leave me a comment and please help us support the mature community on YouTube. The ladies that are make up this, uh, this wonderful community, the mature community, every single one of them, I have a list below. This list was done by The O'Carroll Show. Check them out, support them, subscribe to these ladies. They are absolutely wonderful. Thank you guys and have a wonderful day. And I will see you later. <laughs> My pony too. I know, I think I'm, I'm probably wacky. Maybe I'm going through my second I'm like, oh my gosh, isn't this the cutest? Isn't this the cutest? I love it.